Hi guys, so today we're gonna deal with a white line legion. It, the hoof looks good right now, but you can see what we're gonna deal with in a minute here. Everything I'm doing here is to help the cow live a longer and better life. This is all for informational purposes only. I knew she was lame because she came in the chute walking lame on this foot. On the lateral claw, the claw on the right there, it's longer than the other one. It's because she hasn't been wearing it down as much due to there being a problem there. So she's been putting most of her weight on the medial claw. If you haven't yet, please swipe left and follow me and stay tuned for new content. You can see here that I didn't have to push hard on there. She's got a lot of built up pressure in there and pus is coming out. Seeing that pus come out tells me that there's a pocket inside of there and all that dead horn needs to be cut off. The reason I need to cut away all the dead horn is so that it can heal from the inside out and so that new fresh horn can grow. On average, a dairy cow's horn will grow one quarter of an inch every month. Right now, even though I'm using the grinder on the lame claw, I am barely touching her hoof. I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit and trying to be as gentle as I can. These problems usually stem from standing too long and her sole starts to bruise and pushes out through the horn. And cows stand too long based on heat. Cows will stand up to cool down or if they're overcrowded or if they have too long of a walk to the parlor. Most farms try to prevent this from happening by providing comfortable bedding to encourage them to lay down and fans or sprinkler systems in the summer to keep them cool. And some of them even put rubber mats down on their walk to the parlor. Unfortunately, you do get a select few that still develop this problem, and that's why they call us. There's no need to clean this off right away. Once I get this all cut open a little bit more, I'll be spraying antibacterial solution and I'll wrap it up and make sure it's all clean. Again, I'm not doing anything intentionally to hurt this cow, but I do need to make sure that it's all opened up correctly so that I can start healing properly. You can see here I'm putting the antibacterial solution on. This also helps cauterize bleeding, and I'll be doing that multiple times. Stay tuned for part two. I'm posting that right away.